Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Horticulture and Homes. Lately I've been talking about uh, wanting to experiment with a sun oven, but I wasn't sure how well it would work in the area that I live, and I just wasn't ready to spend $260, $280 uh, to buy a, a nice sun oven. So I did some research. So what I'm, I've got here is the sun oven that I've come up with. Um, I did this with items from around my home. Um, and then I purchased the black pot. And I also purchased this car sunshade. Now, uh, many of you have probably seen how to uh, have a sun oven using this shade. This is a little bit different and then you don't use a plastic bag. I'm going to explain the process and I just walked around my house trying to come up with things, trying to figure out how I could do this uh, and not spend very much money. So other than buying the uh, thin walled black pot and the car shade, everything else was already in my home. Uh, I'm going to post the information on some of the reading that I did and how I came up with this. Uh, and it will be posted in the description box or I'll do it here uh, on the video before I put it up. But I decided to go with uh, the extra large car shade, sunshade. Um, because I wanted a larger reflective surface. So uh, I purchased my shade, it was $8. You can probably find them less expensive or on sale other places if you wait and check around. But um, there uh, are shades for cars and then there are larger shades for sport utilities and trucks and things of that nature and I bought the larger of the two. Okay. Um, now, you can do this using a, an oven cooking bag, which is pretty inexpensive. Uh, and instead of a black pot, you can use a, um, a glass ball jar, mason jar, and just spray paint everything black so that it will absorb heat. That's what the researcher did uh, in the article that I read. But I went ahead and I bought the black pot. Uh, so. I'm thinking, I probably don't want to mess with using a bag all of the time and taking that bag off and stirring my pot and things like that. So I went walking around going, okay, how can I do this? And I found this glass lid. This is off of one of my pots. And this works out fine as long as I um, place my lid on my black pot here. If I put it like this, it, it doesn't work. It's too tall. But as long as I keep my lid on upside down, or if I don't use a lid, then I'm fine. And this uh, glass lid seals pretty well, so I may not even have to use the black lid. So I did buy the, the black pot. And uh, you want to stay away from cast iron. You want a thin-walled black pot for this type of operation unless you live in a really, really hot area where there's lots and lots of sun. This glass bowl is actually the base to uh, a little oven that I have. And this rack also is part of that little oven. And I'm going to show that to you. So this is actually the base to a, it's a mini uh, convection so, oven. You know, look around your house, you might have something you can already use. And then later on if I decide that I enjoy cooking this way and that I do have enough sun for um, enough months during the year, then I can go ahead and invest in that oven later on. But that's that's what that was. And all I did was go around my kitchen opening cabinet doors, uh, you know, trying to find something that would work. Because the premise is you want the heat to build up in, in the oven. 
and so you can use the plastic bag for the heat to build up and the reason that rack is in there is so that it allows the uh, the sun see when this is out of the rack And that will actually, this will actually be uh, wrapped around the glass bowl by creating a, a funnel. So the, the rack allows for the sun rays to get underneath the pot and also heat the pot from underneath. So that's, that is all that does. And then instead of having the plastic bag, I found this lid that actually fits the bowl very very well. In fact I had three lids that would have worked but this one fit the best and fit the tightest so that's the one I'm using. And This is just a lid off my large stock pot it's like a 20, I think it might be a 22 or 28 quart stock pot. So that works out perfect so I can give that a try and if I like it great. But we have had very little sun. We have the sun pops out and then it rains and then we have sun for a couple hours and it's really hot and then it rains again and we have cloud cover and showers constantly this summer. So I was getting impatient and last night I put together this rocket stove. Now I don't have the um, <clears throat> I was going to use sand in here for my insulator uh, and so that I haven't put all of the pieces together. But I'll give you the information where you can find on how to make this. Uh, there's several different places that I think have good information. And so I'll give that information to you. So if you're interested, you can go do this. And this is made out of Food, empty food cans. There's a number 10 can and then you can use uh, three soup cans or the what I used here were um, cans that were a little bit larger than a soup can. Uh, canned pineapple cane in, in these. So these are a little bit larger. Uh, I'm also think if I like the way this oven or this stove works I'll probably go ahead and make one with soup cans also to see if I see any great difference between uh, using the different size cans but still using the number 10 can as the basis for the stove. So I have a few more bins to make but the stove's pretty much together. 